Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. So without further ado, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. Stocks tumbled recently after the Federal Reserve Chairman went on 60 Minutes over the weekend where he said that there is no rush to cut interest rates. Investors did not like to hear this news, and that's why the general stock market and various indexes, such as the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, are trending downwards. However, I think this news is going to be short-lived, considering that eventually the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates multiple times this year, and once they do that, the general stock market will increase. So, if you want to get a fantastic deal by investing into the stock market, then you would want to do it now while it's trending downwards before the Federal Reserve actually decides to cut interest rates. However, the stock market is not the only thing that has been moving pretty radically recently because we also have some cryptocurrency news in regards to Bitcoin. According to the article, one of the most important trials in the history of cryptocurrency began recently over the identity of a mysterious man you've probably never heard of. This man is named Craig Wright, and he's an Australian computer scientist who is currently on a trial over in the United Kingdom in their high court because he claims that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. And if you didn't know, Satoshi Nakamoto is the inventor of Bitcoin, and it's a pseudonym. Essentially, no one really knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is because it's not an actual name. The inventor of a Bitcoin just disguised their real identity under this pseudonym, and if Craig Wright ends up being Satoshi Nakamoto, this is going to cause extreme volatility in Bitcoin's price. There are two main options here. If the court finds out that Wright is not Satoshi Nakamoto, then Bitcoin will continue to exist as it is. However, if they conclude that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, then Wright could make it illegal for developers to use Bitcoin without his approval. In my personal opinion, I don't think he is Satoshi Nakamoto, and I don't think we will ever truly find out who is behind Bitcoin, which adds more to its mystique and its overall value. Some investors believe that if we did find out who was behind Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin would actually drop substantially. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this cryptocurrency update down below. But now let's talk more about stock news updates in regards to Snapchat laying off a approximately 10% of their staff. Snapchat is a social media giant and they make a lot of money and revenue from their ads. However, ever since Apple changed its privacy policy, it has made it harder for advertisers to advertise on various social media platforms. And this has cut Snapchat's overall revenue, so to offset this expense, Snapchat had to lay off employees. Snapchat's job cuts would equate to around 540 people, and this is going to be one of their largest layoffs ever since 2022. Next up, we have Palantir Palantir Technologies in the news, which is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. Recently, Palantir shares have soared as Wall Street cheers revenue boost from their recent AI push, and analysts are loving this news. Palantir also specializes in artificial intelligence, and Palantir's PLTR stock has recently surged by around 25% as of right now, which is absolutely amazing. One of the reasons why Palantir's share price is surging right now is because the company brought in a very strong quarter four financial results. We saw revenue from Palantir's commercial segment rise by around 32% year over year to $284 million. This led to the company posting $608 million overall, which beat analyst estimates, which is very good. And on top of that, the growth that we are seeing in their commercial segment offset the slowdown in growth that we saw from their government segment. This also tells investors that a lot of companies are gravitating towards Palantir Technologies due to their artificial intelligence prowess. Palantir's CEO, who is Alex Karp, even said that their AI program, which launched in April of last year, is the future of the company, and he anticipates further growth in the United States. But the news gets even better considering that a Jefferies analyst upgraded Palantir's rating from an underperform rating to a hold rating, which is very beneficial for this general company, and I think investors are loving this good news. However, Wall Street still remains divided on this company. For instance, out of 17 brokerages which cover this stock, they have a hold rating on Palantir with a median price target of around $18.50. And this is below their last price of around $19.80, which means that we could anticipate a drop in the share price over the next 12 months. 
And I think analysts are right here because I think we are going to see Palantir share price cool off after the hype surrounding their earnings report ends up cooling off. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this company and where you think the future of Palantir is headed. We also see another company that I love, which is SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol S-O-F-I, ticker name SoFi. SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank and they have experienced immense success recently. Their current share price trades for around $7.75 and recently their shares are up around 2.18%. SoFi recently became profitable on a gap basis and their future projections look extremely bright and I think their share price could at least hit nine to ten dollars over the next 12 months so let's discuss exactly why that is. With SoFi Technologies achieving gap profitability in the fourth quarter of 2023 by them bringing in 47.913 million dollars in net income investors should be extremely excited about this company. This initially caused the share price of this company to jump by 20 percent in response to this earnings report and like I said the company would cool off after this jump and that's exactly what we are going to see in Palantir Technologies because as you can see on screen, their chart has cooled off since then. Currently, we're just waiting for SoFi to find a bottom or a support level so we can invest into this company and ride it over the long term. The company has shown a fantastic ability to produce excellent fundamentals and financials regardless of the market environment, which makes this company very resilient. The author of this article even says, after looking at SoFi's fourth quarter 2023 earnings report released on January 29th of 2024, I reiterated my buy recommendation for long-term growth investors. Although the company is still FCF or free cash flow negative, it has achieved gap profitability, which is generally accepted accounting principles profitability in the fourth quarter and forecasts profitability to grow throughout 2024. To me, that forecast of growing their profitability throughout the remainder of 2024 is the best news in regards to this company, and I think investors really need to take advantage of this good news. On top of that, SoFi is expanding their massive market opportunity to provide a payments risk platform that gives fraud protection on financial data transactions to banks and other financial institutions. This will just be another way in which SoFi can make money off of other financial institutions and other traditional banks and fintech companies. The CEO of SoFi Technologies even believes that a better fraud protection system will save financial institutions money and enable faster movement of funds. So this is going to be good news for SoFi Technologies and any other financial institution that they do business with. These are two great news updates for this company and I'm very excited for the future of SoFi Technologies and where their share price will be in the future. So I would love to hear your price targets down below. We also have a Tesla in the news to where Tesla stock has recently been downgraded. The current noise surrounding Tesla's TSLA shares has not been positive recently and this has resulted in Wall Street downgrading this company. A recent analyst cut his rating on Tesla stock to an equivalent hold rating from their original buy rating. This analyst lowered his price target from $245 per share all the way down to $195. This analyst's price prediction is actually lower than the average analyst price target for Tesla's TSLA shares, which currently hovers at around $214 per share. It seems that more and more analysts are becoming bearish and negative surrounding Tesla and their overall TSLA shares, considering that only around 39% of analysts recommend at Tesla as a buying opportunity. Obviously, I think these investors are mistaken and I am continuously adding Tesla shares below that $200 mark because it's only a matter of time for Tesla to achieve their catalysts, which we have talked about in previous videos, which will ignite their stock price, causing it to surge upwards. However, in the meantime, investors do need to understand that Tesla's share price will be quite volatile considering the very tough macroeconomic environment, the unfriendly financial conditions that Tesla finds themselves in, and the lower demand for electric vehicles. But like we've talked about in the past, these headwinds will eventually blow over to where Tesla has multiple upcoming catalysts, which will be amazing for this company. And that's why I continuously buy into this company, even while the share price is falling. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Tesla down below. We also have Nvidia stock in the news, considering that they just passed $700 per share by striking a new partnership for its artificial intelligence chips. These new deals have caused Nvidia's share price to absolutely explode. And honestly, I don't blame investors because Nvidia Nvidia has been on fire in a good way recently. The stock was recently boosted because an analyst from Goldman Sachs and an analyst from Raymond James backed Nvidia saying that it's a strong buying opportunity right now. On top of that, the recent partnership with the networking company named Cisco Systems is absolutely insane. Essentially, they're making this partnership to sell infrastructure for data centers. And Nvidia will receive a large kickback from this considering that Nvidia's graphics processing units, also known as GPUs, which are the favored choice for training artificial intelligence systems, will be included with 
Cisco's server computers. Therefore, this deal is going to benefit both Cisco systems as well as NVIDIA. The CEO of NVIDIA even said, and I quote, Working closely with Cisco, we are making it easier than ever for enterprises to obtain the infrastructure they need to benefit from artificial intelligence, the most powerful technology force of our lifetime. This also allows NVIDIA to differentiate themselves from other companies such as AMD, which I personally am a fan of as well. However, a Goldman Sachs analyst recently commented about NVIDIA's advantage over AMD by saying this, and I quote, From a competitive standpoint, although AMD is making good progress with its MI300 platform, we believe NVIDIA will remain as the industry gold standard for the foreseeable future, given its robust hardware and software offerings, and importantly, the pace at which it continues to innovate. Therefore, NVIDIA is solidifying themselves as one of the best, and if not the best, artificial intelligence play to invest into right now. However, I personally like other companies like AMD, Microsoft, and Google as well, so I would highly recommend you look into any or all of these companies, especially if you want to invest into them. So how high do you think NVIDIA is actually going to go in their share price? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Our next news update involves Spotify, which recently released great user growth, and they also had phenomenal forecasts for the upcoming year. Spotify Technology, ticker symbol SPOT, ticker name SPOT, has recently jumped by around 7.46%. So let's talk about why Spotify's shares are surging right now. Well, for starters, their monthly active users and subscribers came in ahead of expectations, which is always good news when a company beats on these types of metrics. On top of that, their revenue and profitability trends look very favorable throughout the year of 2024, and that's why their shares have gapped up in their share price. If you didn't know, Spotify is a Swedish music streaming company that has ventured into podcasts as well as audiobooks recently, and they have recently projected that they will grow their user base up to 1 billion users by 2030, which is great news for the company. Just recently, the number of monthly active users rose by 23%, up to 602 million users in the fourth quarter. And investors are really excited about this because this actually beat Spotify's guidance by analysts who forecasted that their monthly active users would only rise up to 601.33 million, but instead, Spotify had something else in mind by beating this metric. The company also increased their premium subscribers, who account for the majority of the company's revenue, which recently rose by 15% to 236 million premium subscribers, topping estimates of 235.1 million. Naturally, the boost in premium subscribers as well as monthly active users reflected very positive on their quarterly revenue, which rose by 16% up to 3.67 billion euros or 3.94 billion US dollars. But surprisingly, this actually missed expectations because the company was anticipated to bring in 3.72 billion euros, and instead they only brought in 3.67 billion euros. But despite this bad news, their future forecasts look very bright. The company is currently estimated to have 238.3 million premium subscribers for the quarter. However, the company themselves believe they are going to beat this metric by bringing in 239 million, which is great news for this company, and that's why Spotify shares are increasing right now. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Spotify, and if you use Spotify for either streaming music, listening to a podcast, or even an audiobook. Next up, we have Eli Lilly in the news, which is a gigantic healthcare company, and a biopharma company, which I absolutely love. I believe Eli Lilly will eventually reach a $1 trillion market cap, so I'm heavily invested in this company. But let's jump straight into the news. Recently, Eli Lilly forecasted that their 2024 profit will be well above Wall Street estimates due to soaring demand for their various products. One of this company's largest successes has come in the form of their obesity pharmaceutical named Zepound, which reached $175.8 million worth of sales in just the first few weeks of its launch since early December. This pharmaceutical is the key of this company, absolutely stomping out competition and growing to potentially a trillion dollar market cap. We've also seen explosive demand from their other products such as Manjaro, which is another weight loss pharmaceutical, and it seems that investors are pouring into this company, thus indicating a buying spree. The recent hype surrounding this company has already pushed their market capitalization to over $600 billion, and I anticipate over the long term, maybe over the next one or two decades, this company will become a trillion dollar company, and that's why I personally am invested into them. The company is also trying to expand rapidly, considering that the company is investing into manufacturing facilities in the United States and 
Europe to produce some of their other products. So with all of this news all wrapped up together, Eli Lilly says they anticipated that their adjusted 2024 earnings will come in between $12.20 or $12.70 per share. And that's exactly what investors want to see considering that analyst estimates currently come in at around $12.43 per share. We also saw Eli Lilly bring in a fourth quarter profit of $2.49 per share, which beat Wall Street estimates by 27 cents, which was a gigantic beat in regards to their EPS. That's why I am looking forward to see what this company will achieve in the future because they are on a fantastic growth trajectory. And I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Speaking about companies that I'm super excited about, let's talk about Walmart, ticker symbol WMT, because this stock just got even better. Walmart, which is one of the largest retailers, has already excited investors about their planned three for one stock split at the end of this month. And normally when a company splits their shares, it usually acts as a phenomenal positive catalyst because management feels that the company is still in their growth phase. So this is great news for both the company and investors in this company. But the news gets even better because Walmart has now become a dividend king. Companies become a dividend king when they pay and raise their dividends for 50 straight years. And Walmart recently raised their dividend by $2.28 per share. So overall, this is fantastic news for investors. And that will conclude today's video. For more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment your thoughts down below about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.